So our third place poem is by Linda Goulden, and it's a poem called Stump Work. Um, and this poem uh, plays out its extended metaphor in a way that was pretty irresistible to me. Um, it takes embroidery and a, a heartbreak, I think, and kind of bashes them together. And the poet um, takes joy in the deployment of, of specialist vocabulary, kind of richly suggestive specialist vocabulary, while um, paying attention to the music, the internal music of each uh, stanza. Each stanza is, is an end stop stanza. It has a full stop at the end. So that the final verse, um, and I, I'm half going to ruin it now. I'm not going to ruin it. But the final verse um, surprises us. Um, and settles the poem kind of beautifully. And there's a lovely phrase in this poem, stump work, embroideries of fool's repair. And I thought, if this isn't proverbial already, it, it, it kind of should be. And I must ask Linda whether it is proverbial or her own, all her own work, as they say. So Linda, would you like to come up and read? If it's a proverb, I don't remember pinching it. <laughs> um, about stump work. Uh, at a time when I was very discontented with uh, the little mawkish, melancholy pieces I was writing, uh, I felt I needed new metaphors for, you know, minor subjects like love and lust and loss and longing minor matters like that. Then two events took place. I went to see the Poetry Society's giant knitted poem, and I went to a talk and exhibition by a graduate of the Royal School of Needlework. And so these two events started me on a group of poems, each one about a, a different kind of thread work. I keep putting these away and then taking them out and working on them again, rather like a piece of embroidery that's never finished. Anyway, I'm really glad I got this one out again. <laughs> Stump work, as well as being something you could ask of a tree surgeon, is a kind of three-dimensional embroidery, so it can actually have uh, things which are covered and padded and fastened onto the ground of linen and there can be gold work and all kinds of interesting things. In its uh, 17th century hand sewing examples, it's very fine and intricate. And in its 19th century revivals, it's well over the top. And in its industrial 21st century applications to sports logos or children's wear, it's pretty crude. <laughs> so stump work. Love, if you needle me, I want no flimsy piece, no child's play, crude trimmed, blazonry puffed up with foam. A little hard heart's fastened here, well layered and wound with years. I'm old wood, wired to ground beneath your linen overlay. Would you recover me, mounted, in gilt-edged frame, chain-stitched, half-feathered, fixed? Embroideries of fool's repair. Sweet, heart's ease must come like summer rain, as when, beside a disused watercourse, a broken stump begins to green again. <laughs> 